is Bella from HelpEnDollar.org and right now I'm at Key Largo School in Key Largo, Florida. And I'm about to go speak to some kids about the future of Help and All Litter. And I'm going to try to get some new heel kids on my side. So let's go. Are you ready as well? I'm ready. Well, let's go inside. Alright, it's been a while since I've spoken to a school. It's been a few months, so please excuse me being rusty. Uh, if you guys can smell me, I just came from the pet motel. I was playing with a bunch of dogs, so excuse that too. And I was, I just came here to try and inspire you guys to be uh, my new heel kids. I know that a few of you have come to clean ups before. And so I'm just really excited for a new year and I'm hoping that you guys will be able to come to new cleanups and it's just gonna be awesome. We're introducing now a junior chapters, which is KLS in itself is a chapter of helpandallitter.org. And so junior chapters are going to be run by kids going to the same school who decide that they want to get their own group of friends and organize their own cleanups. And so you can have your own junior chapters and you can get your group of friends, you can go clean up wherever you want. And then you can have your big chapter cleanups where you can go with your whole school, everybody in that chapter, and you can go clean up. And it's going to be really fun. And I hope a few, who, want, who wants to be a junior chapter leader? That's awesome. Okay. It's gonna be really fun. We have it on video, just so y'all know. Yeah. We can hold this against you in court. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. And so, yeah, you guys, we're gonna pass out some forms. When Next week. Speak? Next week, and for you guys who wanna become heel kids, you guys can be heel kids, and then your junior chapter leaders will come, and you guys can join your own little chapters, and it's gonna be really awesome. So, um, all right, so See My Beach is a company who does uh, little uh, promotions here and there for different places in the Keys and in Homestead and basically all the way up to Destin, right? Mm -hmm. All right, and so I started working for See My Beach when I was staying in uh, Point of View Resort. I don't know if you guys ever passed by it. And I was staying there and we went to the pool and Rick was there and I was like, hey, I want to be on camera. And it just kind of started from there and I was doing videos for three years before I realized well, we were doing a video at um, Indian Key Phil, if you guys know where that is, that's where our first cleanup was. And we were doing a video there and it was trash, like everywhere, which is really bad, obviously, if you're going to get in the video. So it was like, okay, move to the right, but there was still trash in the shot and I was like, alright, move to the left now. Because, you know, we don't want trash. But then I decided, I went home and I started thinking and I was, I called Rick up the next day and I started learning a lot about, um, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and a lot of problems that litter is causing. So I called Rick up and I was like, hey, instead of moving to the right and moving to the left, let's just clean this all up. And that's when I got the idea for Help and All Litter and now it's just become pretty big in the keys and I'm really happy about that. Um, do you guys have any questions so far? <laughs> yeah. What happens if there's like a lot of mess that it would take you like an hour to clean up? Then it takes an hour. We just gotta clean everything up. We gotta make as big as a, dif a big as a difference as we can. Yeah. About how many people do you get at each cleanup? It depends. On our first cleanup, we had uh, maybe around about a hundred. About a hundred. You think? Uh, Pam was there too. Yeah, like about with 100. adults and kids, a hundred. Like maybe how many kids were there? Less around kids than we expected. Yeah, about twenty-four, expected. but more adults than we expected. Yeah. Uh, so it kind of depends on what kind of cleanup you're doing, like if it's a huge organized cleanup or a tiny junior cleanups, which we haven't done any yet, but we're really excited to start doing them. And then I go sometimes and I go and I help with the sheriff's department when they do their cleanups and those are a lot bigger because they're more um, organized and promoted by the sheriff's department. Yeah? Where do you usually have your cleanup? Uh, anywhere in the Keys. I wanted to start down here because this is where I was inspired to start helping Doll Litter. Uh, but usually when I'm at home, back in Miami Lakes, I'll clean up anywhere. I'll go around my neighborhood, 
and I'll just pick up, especially now after Halloween, there's so much candy wrappers like all over the street. So like sometimes I'll go around and I'll just try and pick up and clean up as much as I can. Yeah. Do you find any recyclables? Like anything you can recycle? Do you recycle it when you find it? Yeah, um, we have. We make sure to, um, we haven't done some most of our cleanups, but after we try to like recycle as much as we can. Yeah. Alright. Anyone else? Sure. Oh, yeah. When I was at my other school, I started this club called Ocean Avengers. Mm -hmm. And what we basically did is we'd have, we had like Instagram and um, Tumblr. And we like send like out like some like notifications kind of. Mm -hmm. And we'd say like we're having a clean up this day at when, like mm -hmm. where, when, like what day and we like there were just like, lots of kids that showed up to the meetings. Yeah. But we still got very successful and got at least some kids. That's good. As long as you guys are cleaning up, making a difference, it's good. We were actually just telling them about the tell them what we were just talking about uh, earlier. Oh, yeah. We were, we were having a meeting about um earlier about like maybe like a whole website that we can like maybe uh, make groups and send them and send notifications about cleanups and everything to um to like the kids but we haven't really planned out that much yet i know a website like it is called enmodo i don't know if you use it here mm -hmm. yeah some, some do yeah yeah and i was i was kind of thinking something like that because i use it in my school too and we were kind of talking about something like that so yeah um anyway. any other questions yeah. Like every time I see garbage, I immediately pick it up. I bring, like when I go to the beach or on the boat, I bring a big garbage bag and every yeah. time I find something, I throw it in there. Yeah. Once I found like a big plastic chair, like it was a giant white plastic chair. In the <laughs> so you've already started making a difference. Yeah. yeah. That's I've awesome. I've been doing this for a while. Yeah, it's, it's and good. styrofoam. I yeah, styrofoam. styrofoam. She'd make a great junior leader, huh? Yeah, you'd make a great junior leader. And how many people and so would have you. seen our signs that we've started to hang up about coming and how, uh, what did we put, what did we put in those signs? Solution to pollution. The solution yeah, we put KLS in the solution. Yeah, we put in the solution. And we also started with trash bags, like yeah. in the car, like just to keep them there, like just in case. Yeah, or, yeah that's a great idea. <laughs> we've also uh, started to put down facts about pollution mm -hmm. and uh, the things that we can do to help. So keep an eye out for those. And then also we've been handing out flyers to come to the cleanups. We've had two so far, but one got rained out. So just keep listening and we'll post them and we'll send out flyers to you when KLS does the uh, cleanups and also when Isabella does them. I'll let you know too. Yes. Sometimes I go on the boat and they see like trash in the water and it's like just uh, the most common, maybe not so much in the water, but like I know like here on land, cigarette butts is yeah. one of the biggest, you guys probably seen that everywhere. It's one of the worst pieces of trash. I saw one at the park yesterday. Yeah. Oh, they're really bad. But be safe when you pick things up. Yeah. You, that's why we have, we give you guys grabbers and gloves. Yeah, with glass bottles too. We give you guys the grabbers and the gloves so you guys can make sure to pick it up with the grabbers and be safe so you don't cut your hands or it's anything. It's like with sea glass. I mean, it's been tumbled, but it still shouldn't yeah. be in the water. Edie? Like, Our next cleanup is going to be in December. There you go. You're, you're asking me. She's asking Ms. Caputo, I think. Okay, yes. When, when on one of the cleanups, we found like a giant human mouth just washed up on the beach. Really? It was at Harry Harris. It was a giant rat. Wow. It like, it's crazy. It was about wood, styrofoam, and gold. <laughs> wow, that's bad. Uh, uh, do you guys know anything about the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite the size of it. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so you guys know a lot. <laughs> and a lot of trash on it. Yeah. Uh, now, here's something else. All the trash there, 80, okay. All the trash in the ocean, 80% of it floats down. So imagine what does it make into the Pacific Garbage Patch? 80% of that is under the water where we can't see it. So yeah, that's something else to think about. Yeah. One time at my step at my dad's um work, we were picking up a trailer and we seen this um it was like half the size of a dog and it 
was um, washed up on shore and it was a Cuban wrap. Wow. With a whole bunch of cans and plastic bags and stuff. Well, okay, no more stories, just questions. Sorry. Juliana? Oh, why is it not? Okay. Now? Uh, when is your next date up? December? Oh, yeah. Are you having one? Um, we, have, we have one scheduled for Manatee Bay. And yeah. do, you, do you know about that? We've had some issues with the one at Manatee right. Bay because we found that it was owned by someone. And according to the law, we have to get permission to go on there. So we had to postpone it. But that's going to be the next major cleanup that we do. And with now. All of the chapters that I have so far, which is uh, KLS, Plantation Key School, and Treasure Village will probably make it too. Right. Yeah. Hmm? You see all the garbage there? It's really bad out there, huh? Yeah. Okay. You and then you. Um, like, I like to go to cleanups, but I probably won't be able to go to that many because I have, I like, I'm really busy. I have, like, I have, I do lots of sports, and sometimes my mom doesn't really like like to go anywhere. Any little bit help helps. Yeah. Just do it just do it when you're walking. Yeah, and if you can't go to our you just go right outside. Yeah, you, you don't have to be right part of a group. Your house, go right around your neighborhood and just pick up whatever you can. It, well, anything can make a difference. So don't feel bad. There's other places you can go. <laughs> you had a question, right? All right. Where I used to live, there was trash all through the woods. Like, there was trash all through the woods. How many people do you think it would take to clean up? Ooh, um... Well, we did a cleanup at the parking lot of Office Depot. I don't know where, I don't know if you know where that is. But it took us, we couldn't even clean up the whole thing. And we had about how many kids, Ms. Caputo? Oh, I think we had about almost 10. Yeah, we couldn't, we couldn't even clean and that up. we were up. there for two hours. We were there for two hours and we couldn't even finish picking it up. So probably a lot of kids. <laughs> I saw another hand, but I don't know if it went down. Remember, just questions. Yeah. Any more questions? Close it up. Wait. Okay. You guys are fighting for a question. Okay. Go ahead, Ann. Go ahead. Yeah. We just cleaned up today. That's good. Everything oh, yeah. a little we bit of the yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where like this is like where like <laughs> You know the big trash mountains? If someone that like came out, where would you, would you like estimate it would go? Everywhere. Yeah. Like, wherever it went. Yeah. Wherever the river was Some on the land, some in the water, some would blow away all over the yeah. place. So that's why it's very important to recycle too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I created a recycling bin at my house. I took this old shoe box and I created a shoe box. That's good. She's going to make a good junior champion. I'll tell you, she's going to be awesome. So she, oh, she has experience. Yeah. Um, what, what would you do if you saw trash in the water? Like, what would you use to get it? Uh, well, we either, I always keep a grabber of mine in the car. So if it's that close, then I'll grab it with the grabber. And uh, at one of the sheriff's, uh, one of the sheriff's cleanups, I actually, um, I was wearing, like, the worst thing to wear, like, at a beach cleanup. I actually had to just roll up my pants and go in the water and grab it. Yeah. 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 I was with the same group as Lola was, mm -hmm. and um, we would like recycle bottle caps. Like, should we do that? Yeah. Uh, recycle would, as much as possible. But like, we would take it and we would get like a big sheet of cardboard and make pictures of it. Like, we have them all posted around our old school. That's good. And, yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Picking up the little things are important because everybody yeah. picks up the big stuff. Yeah, everybody focuses on like the big bottles, and but it, you also have to focus on the little things. So, yeah. At the Caribbean Club where they're building that new house, me and my dad we um, we looked on the beach side and we seen a whole bunch of garbage and old glass Coke bottles and stuff from like a really long time ago. Yeah. That's okay. You got your question back? Yeah. So like when. Water, like when trash is in the water, I know it affects the animal that lives in the water, but does it do anything to the water? Well, depending on what it is, it can um, well, it's contaminate the right word for that. It can contaminate the water. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. plastic is poison. 
And so when the poison, or plastic never breaks down, right? Yeah. Right? How long does it take for plastic? Um, millions of decades. It doesn't not mean millions of years, but yeah. when it does break down, it turns into little nerdles. Little nerdles. nerdles, right? Mermaid That's tears. Job. You guys remember. Mermaid tears. And that is in our water forever and ever and ever. So, if you find like a giant tire when it's like edited, and you can't get it out, what are you supposed to do with it? Um, that's a good question. That we haven't, even, yeah, cut it is a good cut if you have the right materials for that. But we've never really been faced with a situation yet. If you get in a situation like that, get an adult to help you. Yeah. Because they can usually solve that problem for you. And bringing it up makes you really good. I'm pretty sure it's still there today. Okay. Yeah. Um, we had a tire like with the fish and that just gives like the fish a monster like a hot What was it now? It's a tire that's in the water, but it's created a habitat for the animals. Well, sometimes we just kind of leave that there. And, that's, a, that's something good for us. That's something good for us to go research. Good uh -huh. question. Yeah. Good we'll have question. a we'll have an answer for the next time somebody asks that. It's two back there. Yeah, um, she's yeah. my inspiration. <laughs> when you do cleanups, do you ever come across like an animal stuck in a like in a plastic soda can holder or anything like that? We haven't yet. Not yet, no. <laughs> Hopefully we won't. Some interesting things. Yes. We found an aquarium. I know. Did y'all? What did y'all do with it? Did y'all bring it here? Nope, not yet. Not yet. That's our plan. Oh, nice. Actually, you know what? At my school the other day, we found a bird with um, his wing was cut on a. It was a sparrow, I think. His wing was cut from a from a plastic. It's, it's like I don't even know how this managed to happen. Like a plastic fork was stuck in his wing. Oh, poor baby. Yeah, we had to, my my fifth my environmental science class. We had to like. We had to go to every student and find one who could actually uh, have, the, like, have the time to take it to the bird sanctuary. We found someone, but Good. yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you ever been to a school they were going to do a presentation at and there was a lot of garbage at it? No, <laughs> uh, I've only done uh, presentations here and at Plantation Key School, so that hasn't happened yet. Yeah. But we do yeah. have a lot of garbage sometimes that middle schoolers. Well, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, wait. Let me, let me, uh, what happened there. today? The helicopter came and it blew yeah. all the garbage out of the uh, waste yeah. basket. Yeah. She makes a good. Okay, what you just remind me about something. Um, my focus as of right now is on the younger kids about your age because, believe it or not, people, this statistic, I don't remember it exactly. But it was, I think, 70% or 80% of the people who litter are from ages 15 through 21. 21. So that's, I knew someone would say that. Anyways. Attention, Krista Stanford, please come to the office. Krista Stanford, please come to the office to leave school. All right. Chris so is not in here. Let's continue. So that's interesting. Yeah, that's why I'm focusing on you guys. That way, when you guys grow up, you already uh, are growing up with the notion that littering is bad, and you guys won't be part of that statistic where, you know, yeah, you guys understand me. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was like, like my grandma works here, so I was just like watching a kid, and they were having like they had like a wrapper from their breakfast. And then the kid looked around to make sure there's no one left watching, even though I was watching because I was behind them. And he dropped a piece of trash on purpose behind them. And I couldn't really pick it up because I was, like, yeah. I was, it was inside the gate. But I was like, this is wrong. It is wrong. You, you should always hold a piece of trash until you get to the nearest trash can. And they were like, they were heading to the cafeteria, so they didn't always use the trash can. It's sad. Doesn't that make you? Sad when you see yeah. people litter yeah. and throw stuff out their windows. Yeah, makes me angry too. Okay, we have to wrap it up because we have to. What is? Is it a question? But it's really short. It's what? A short? Yes. Short. Go ahead. Hurry up. One time in my neighborhood, I saw this guy. He's 
brew his uh, uh like a, a green tea mm -hmm. of the can, and then just instead of throwing it away, he just kicked it into somebody else's yard. So did you yell at him? <laughs> did you run over there to pick it up? Yeah, I put it on the yeah. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something real quick. This this really good is when when you're when you see trash or see somebody drop trash or whatever, don't say anything to them. Just pick it up. The other day I was in in a place called Homestead or y'all know Homestead, and somebody <laughs> threw something down, which happens all day every day there. And there was three guys, and I just reached down and picked it up and I said, I got that for you, man. And I put it in the trash can, and it embarrassed him in front of his friends, and they were all laughing when they walked away. But I guarantee you, he'll never litter again. Yeah. So think about it. So you don't have to confront anybody. Just pick it up. Yeah. Go and pick it up. Anyway, that you're doing we'll wrap it up. Yeah. I'll wrap it up. All right, well, I really hope um, this kind of inspires you guys to become heel kids and uh, junior chapter leaders. And I look forward to seeing you guys at Miss Caputo's camps. And I'll try to make it to as many of them as I can. So, yeah, it's just hard to get down here because I'm in Miami. So, but I always try to make it to as many as I can. And we'll bring some information for you next week so you can get to your parents. And also, Instagram. Yeah, Instagram, uh, help and all litter dot, is it just help and all litter? It's just at help and all litter. Just at help and all litter, spelled exactly like that. Everybody join the Instagram and listen, there's a thing called, there's a thing called litter. Hello. You can do a hashtag, and if you see some of the things that Isabella and all we have all done, you can hashtag and do litter before and after. And what you do is you show the litter, and then you clean it up, and you show after you clean it up. Litter before and after, remember that hashtag, okay? You, t you adults too. We have to get old people involved. Yes. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh and, and, and I and I and I, my friends. And, I, and I have to walk. I gotta walk past them to get out. I'm in trouble. Ooh. is there a back entrance? Is there a back exit? <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thank you.